Okay. Whew. So, the van is filthy. And, uh, yeah, we're at the corner car wash, waiting. Keith is upset because we gotta wait. We're going back to Florida. Forget this shit. Yep, it's too cold. I'm actually, in a couple days, heading out to Oklahoma, so supposed to be like in the 60s there. are a van lifer like me you will probably relate to this unfortunately we cannot go through or at least I can't with my van I cannot go through a uh, a regular car wash because of the max van and the height of my van I am afraid that it will you know destroy the max van so I have to do quarter car washes so I'm going to my mailbox now and I'm going to make sure I don't have any more W-2s and today I'm going to do my taxes. I got to get that done before I go to Oklahoma and also tomorrow morning we're going to wake up and we're going to go to this RV show. So I'm really looking forward to that. That's going to be kind of cool. So here we go. Good morning everybody. So I got myself some recoveries. Um, I put that there in support of all the truckers up in Ottawa, so that's why I got the Canadian flag. I actually got that from Canada, duh. Anyways, I, um, I got myself some recoveries, so in Oklahoma, I don't know exactly where we're going. My buddy's got all these plans. Uh, he stated, he told me that they're going some off-roading. I don't have four-wheel drive, so... I don't know what kind of off-roading we're exactly doing. Uh, he said that my van would should be fine, but I got myself some recoveries just in case. So I'm gonna open this up and check them out. So, these are them. Looks like in a sticky situation, or stucky situation. You stick those under there, and you got all the traction in the world. We'll see. If I need them, I'll use them. I just got these just as a backup. Um, the only thing about these is where the hell am I going to store them? Because the garage is getting very busy. So, I have a little bit of an idea here. A project that I may be doing in the near future. Maybe when I get back from Oklahoma. I don't know. We'll see. So, let me show you. So, here I got my bed, right? This is, I think, a 10-inch um, memory foam. Or 10-inch whatever. It's 10 inches. I don't really need this this is a six inch foam pad that i have under here look how much space i am wasting dude that's like that's like 18 inches right there so i don't really need this i do love the bed so what i was thinking about doing was taking the bed out taking this out and getting a maybe a two by six and running it this way and then maybe another two by six, but I want uh, this two by six to be slightly taller. Um, the reason for that, and then I'm gonna put another board on. Okay, forget that for a second. So I'm just basically gonna create a space here and then have another board here. So that way I have um, space there. I mean, that's more storage space. But what I wanna do is do it on a slight angle. That way, if I'm ever off level, 
this way, I'm, uh, you know, I'm, I'm somewhat level. And if I'm ever off level this way, then I'm really off level, but that's okay. And the okay is because it's a lot easier to sleep with your head above your feet, if you understand what I'm saying, unlevel that way. Uh, I've done both and uh, sleeping with my feet higher than my head sucks. I end up flipping and uh, sleeping the other way on the bed, which is not, it's, no, it doesn't, it's ugh. So I want to build my bed slightly unlevel the right way like, and that way it just helps counter any unlevel situation. Also by doing that, I'll be gaining some storage space where a lot of this stuff, some of the stuff under here, and these can now live. So that's, I don't know, maybe a day project, not a big deal. So maybe I'll make a video on that in the future. But for now, I'm just going to stick these things in the back while I go to Oklahoma. And yeah. So I guess it's better to have them and not need them than need them and not have them. They are about $100 on Amazon. Good reviews. Everybody says that they're awesome and good to have. So I'm just going to keep them in the van and they live there. And I also got the Enduro ready. The battery was dead when, uh, when I came back from Florida. This thing was just dead. I had to get a new battery. So this is now running. Starts up like a champ. I'm excited to get to Oklahoma with this thing. This is gonna be fun. So yeah. So we are going to an R, a camping slash RV show. Uh, me, Keith, Michael, Charlie. If you follow my videos, you know who all those guys are. So I will catch you guys at the RV show. All right, so after a fiasco of trying to find somewhere to park, now we can go in. Everybody say hi to Keith. What's up, guys? We are going to the Chicago RV and camping show in Rosemont, Illinois. So here we go. pairs for 25 bucks sorry old glasses I'm buying I'm getting new glasses toy hauler. so this is what you want Michael I need a toy hauler you want a toy hauler I want a toy hauler 25 grand. It's funny how the smaller bathroom, ones, and the smaller cool. ones, are more expensive than the uh, slightly bigger 17 footers. Yeah. You know, because people want to be able to tow with a with a car. What do you think, Mike? RV life. So I like the options and the campers that are out here. It's giving me inspiration for when I go camping. There's just too much to look at. Um, and it makes me want to buy a new unit. So obviously, you got to keep. Just keep level-headed, but yeah, this show is awesome. I love it. We come out here like every two, three years. It's pretty cool. Charlie comes with me all the time too. Camp life. We go camping three to four to five, six times a year. So this is a big deal. Is it three, four, or five? That's a pretty big difference. So it depends on how lazy we are, but usually we're like, okay, we're gonna or, get- Or how slow he is. Yeah, we're gonna do it this year, six. One thing about going to RV shows or any show or any venue, $15 for a hot dog. Okay, so when it comes to RVs and campers and all that, I'm not a big pop-up guy. I like fixed RVs. But we're gonna check these out anyways because they're kind of cool. What do you guys think? Pop-ups, yay, nay?
So my pop-up doesn't have a lot of amenities. It has a sink. It has a stovetop thing you can put on the counter so it's not built in. And it has a fridge. It does not have a slide out like this. This totally creates more room. When we're walking past each other, you gotta scoot in and it's a pain in the butt. This gives you enough room to where you can have, you could probably have 10 people in here just sitting around. This is really nice. But I'm over the pop-ups. Obviously, I want a fixed trailer. Um, this is nice, but for that price, I can buy a nice used toy hauler. There's people in the camper. All I gotta do is unplug and lights go out. Well, we spent maybe two to three hours here and uh, I can only look at so many RVs. That was pretty cool. So if you made it this far in the video, thank you for watching. Like, share, subscribe, keep it simple and keep it real. I'll catch you guys on the next one. Take care. So, according to Charlie, we missed a section. What was that, Charlie? The section was called Camping Adventure Show. And where was it? It was on the right-hand side. The left-hand side was the RV show. And we missed it. And we missed it, but it looked like you had to buy a separate ticket for that as well. How come I didn't see this? <laughs>